just another day in paradise here back around the Tacoma and if you caught my last video where I removed the mud flaps as you can see no more no more mud flaps on the truck oh I already spilled the beans we're putting the uh, step bars on so subscribe to the channel let's get to it so I've got the step bar for the driver side set in place and if you um, caught another video I did on an install, I was trying to install some infab steps and on the infab steps they had the same mounting bracket on the back, on the middle, and on the front. And as you can see on the front of this, the plate is longer and there's a bigger gap between the bolt holes. That's on purpose because underneath the body of the truck here, the mounting holes are different and these need to be different. So the front on the driver's side and the front on the passenger side need to be the same. And so I found this used. This is a Weston Protrax 4. This is cab length. This is not wheel to wheel. So it's going to come right about underneath the edge of the fender here and end right at about the back of the cab. And so I think it's going to look pretty clean. I did pick them up used and um, saved a lot of money that way. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping these, but I just got a good deal on them, so I couldn't pass it up. I got the hardware with it. There's these screws. There's six screws per side, two per each of these mounts. These are 10 millimeter bolts that come with this Weston, and there's some lock washers and some flat washers. And the orientation of this is always the lock washer or split washer needs to go closest to the bolt head. So that's the split washer. You can see where the split is. And then there's the bolt head and then there's the flat washer. So I put some blue thread locker on here. I'm not putting red. I'm not trying to keep these on permanent. I want to be able to break, break this loose and take these off if I ever go with some different steps. The main thing I'm going to be looking at is I did a three inch lift in my last video. I took the mud flaps off and the mud flap used to come down about that far down the bottom of the tire so it used to only look like I had about four inches of clearance now I've got all that clearance between the fender and the ground so I think it gives a lot better stance to the truck and I don't want to completely take away my clearance so depending on where these bars mount up I'll be able to look perpendicular well I guess parallel to the ground here as you can see my exhaust pipe comes down furthest this um, cross beam look probably a transmission cross mount here comes down pretty low and then there's the frame here so the frame actually comes down further than the edge of the body so once I mount these bars as long as they're not lower than the frame and they're not I don't think there's any way they're gonna be lower than my cross member or my exhaust pipe but if it's not lower than the frame I'm not technically losing any clearance because if I'm gonna hit the if I'm gonna hit this step bar on a rock or something that I'm trying to crawl over, which I'm not planning on doing any crawling anyway, but that's what you need sliders for. But this is just a step bar, nerf bar, I guess you'd call it. And if I can hit this, then I'm probably just as likely gonna hit the frame. So um, probably gonna end up sliding down the frame, sliding down the step bar, but I'm mainly putting these on because I've got a seven-year-old daughter and a five-foot-six wife, so they like to have something to step on. My old truck was a Ram, and it had it had uh, the running board style down the side, not the individual step pads. It was just from the beginning of the metal all the way to the end was just one big plastic cover on the top that you could step on. So this will be a little bit different look. There's a five-inch available with this as well. I don't remember how much this is going for right now on Amazon. I think this cab length um, for the quad, for the double cab on a Toyota Tacoma matches like 2005 to 2021, I think. I don't think they ever changed the body mounts for it, but you, you can check that on your own. Just put in your year. But on the double cab in the black for the Protrax 4, I believe these are like 250, 260 with tax. So they're not bad anyway. Um, the other ones I bought, the Infabs, they were, I think, about 280 to 290 with tax. So 
saved a little bit of money because I got these used anyway. On you know, I'm not, I didn't even pay full price, so I'm gonna get this set up real quick. I'm gonna get it mocked in, and then we'll take a look and see what that clearance looks like. We'll check the bottom of the frame rail, and then we'll check the bottom of the step bar, and then just see if it's higher or lower than the frame. And I'm gonna leave these on for now. I'm not planning on taking these off. I don't have installation instructions because I didn't buy this new, but I did look online and you can find the installation instructions for the Weston Protrax 4s. And as far as I can tell, they show that the um, the torque spec for these bolts is supposed to be 10 to 15 foot-pounds. It's not very much. My guess is just you put it, put something in too strong in these holes underneath, which I'll show you these holes real quick and then we'll mock, get them put in place. Um, and we'll get some before and after pictures, that kind of thing, so you can see what everything looks like. But the, um, the holes under here are just part of the body, where you're mounting into the body, so the first two holes with this longer plate, you can see how this plate's longer in width. This way, it's a lot wider, and the holes are further apart. The other two holes are like this close together, and these holes are this far apart. That's because on the front, the actual screw hole mounts here and here are that far apart. So you want those to be like that. They need to be far apart. The holes aren't right next to each other like they were on the infab ones that I returned. Like this, those two holes are right next to each other. So this is in the middle. And then all the way down there at the very end, those two, that's the two holes at the back. And it's identical on the passenger side. The front hole facing the front of the vehicle, facing the front of the truck, has the wider space. So I'm just going to keep trucking on this for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch so far. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are most important. Share the channel. Like the video. Comment on the video if you want. I appreciate any feedback. I'm not an expert at everything I do. Most things, I'm probably more like a jack of all trades, but most things I'm not afraid to get into. So for now, this is what we're doing today, and uh, we'll keep going. As previously stated, I'm going to come to about the middle of the fender here and end, and comes about to the right at the end of the cab, just a little bit over, just a touch over into the bed. So this is the step now. So before, where I didn't have a step at all, now I've got a step on the cab here. And again, I'll have some before and after. You can rewind the video if you want. So, as mentioned, there's just six bolts under here. But what I went ahead and did was, I think I mentioned, I thread lockered each of the four bolts. So there's the two here, and then there's two in the middle, and then the upside down over here, there's, on the other side of that bracket, there's two more, but there's also these two bolts on the bottom of the actual step itself. These two, these are um, Allen head, and that is a quarter inch. Hold on. It's not a quarter inch. Where did it go? That is a six millimeter. So that's a six millimeter bolt there. And then these were half inch, six millimeter Allen, half inch socket. And so I just did a little bit of tweaking. I figured if I could get this metal plate here as far towards the frame as I could, because of the angle here, it would suck the step up further under and also closer because it's going to go, this top part's going to go up and in more as this slides away. So there's a little bit of a gap here. I could slide this all the way down until it bumped the metal here, um, but I think I like the look of this being as close to the frame as possible. You can see the, the gap right there too, and it's the same on the front. So. I just made some adjustments and while I was making adjustments with these I wanted to make sure that the step itself is not tilted out. I wanted it flat as possible because if it tilts if it tilts down any then it's going to 
remove clearance so I'm gaining clearance back by bringing it back up straight and so you can see where the previous owner had the bolt set in a different location where these bolt heads were and it's moved a little bit from where I put it but I'm just going to tighten these up these half inch and then these and I believe these were 10 to 15 foot pounds and I think these were 30 foot pounds in the manual I'll just post a little screenshot of that while I'm working on it but after that these pretty much are installed I did go ahead when I loosened these up to move I went ahead and took both of these out I took actually all six of these allen head bolts out and put some blue thread locker on them so now you can see looking down the step here that the step itself is flat because I could make it so that this step was more of a tilt like this if this side would go down further and if the side goes down further then it's gonna drop this side the metal down further now I mentioned what we were gonna check out was the difference in the clearance on the frame so you can see where the frame is this is that reflection right here that's the bottom of the frame and this is the bottom of the step bar nerf bar and if I'm looking at it parallel the nerf bar is actually the same height as the frame but as you can see the little frame bracket here does drop a little bit further down from the step so this would be probably what would end up catching it um, it's still not lower than the transmission cross member or the exhaust so it's not too bad I mean looking at the edge of the at the edge of the rocker panel itself if I'm looking at the bottom of the rocker panel here I'm all the way under it plus the thickness of the step so I did lose that much ground clearance to the rocker panel but I'm not sure it's justified to say that I should be measuring off the rocker panel because the gap between the edge where the rocker panel is here and where the frame is is not enough. My frame's probably going to catch the lower, um, it's the lower center of gravity anyway. So it's going to catch the bigger objects before the rocker panel will. So that's what I make of all this. I'm probably going to take some WD-40 and just wipe these down real quick. Um, just kind of break down any oxidation residue that might be on the surface. Probably not going to put too much on this so the steps are not slippery. But that's pretty much it for this install. I'm going to go do the other side and have some before and after pictures. And you can decide for yourself if this is something you want for your vehicle. I figured I'd just try to make as clear distinction of all the things I'd be looking for uh, to make this work. You do want to leave the four bolts. If you're buying this new, go ahead and mock in the two bolts and the two bolts on the frame and slide it in place and get the bolts going up, not into the frame, but into the bottom of the body there. You do want to go ahead and kind of get everything mocked in place and then you can make adjustments and shift and move stuff around and get it where you like it and then start tightening stuff down. So I'm just going to finish these off with the torque wrench on the bolts and the six Allen head bolts and the six... Um, socket head bolts and then as you can see I've already got the other step rail on the other side waiting so she's not going to wait too long subscribe to the channel thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you have a good rest of the day